G'day guys, Morsey here. Very cool little contraption to show you. Uh, it's not something uh, I've come up with. Uh, I've just made this little design um, going this way. Basically what it is, is a tile entity update detector that also detects other things like blocks and some other bits and pieces. Uh, I saw this on one of JL2579's videos and uh, I thought uh, I hadn't seen it before and I thought I'd make a quick video just to show you guys if you haven't seen it. Um, on further searching I found quite a few of them but uh, I just thought I'd show you because I think it's really cool and uh, I'm just going to go over a couple little uses for it and what it can do um, and basically what we can do with it to, to, to show you is if we get a note block and we put a note block on the front here and if we right click the note block we can actually get a signal output from it um, little trick you can do uh, we have to right click to do this if you um, if you were to play the note it wouldn't work um, now if you want to get the same note coming out every time we can put a block or some redstone on top to prevent this from making noise and we can just put a note block next to it there with the note we want and when we hit this it'll always play that same note there so cool little thing that could be used as a control for something or a button for a doorway or various other things you can also put it on the side like this and that can make for a completely flush wall which is really handy and again we can do the trick with the redstone and like that pretty cool so I'm gonna go over a few uses for it and uh, a few ways you can make it update and uh, yeah we'll see how we go alright so note blocks are probably my favorite um, but there's a few cool items that we can use to affect this update detector and there's a couple little oddities that I've discovered as well so I'll show you what I've found so far so if we put a block here like this we can also use redstone now if we power that redstone that will activate and if we even just change the direction that will activate as well and another cool one is a chest. Now, if you put a chest on, the first time you put it down it will activate. It doesn't activate when you open and close the chest, but it will activate when you put something in, or take something out, or even just click. Now, that's pretty cool. I don't know what you could use that for, but that's very cool. Um, what that maybe means is that you could actually make a trap chest in a in a uh, adventure map without actually using a trap chest and they wouldn't be any the wiser you could have it completely flush like this and if you just had a regular chest with uh, something in it when they come up pull that out and it's trapped so that could be cool now that sort of um, thing also applies to other items with inventory space like a dropper so again we can put items in take items out and you can see it's always updating this um, system we can also just click and it updates as well so that's another cool use now this is one of the little oddities I've found so far um, while we use a chest on this side and it will only work when we interact with the inventory if we put a block on top here and put a chest on that it will only activate when we open or close the chest and if we were to put something in it won't do anything if we can take it out it won't do anything so that's interesting it only does it for opening and closing when it's on the top and it will only do it for the inventory space when it's on the side so very curious but also very cool uh, let's see what else we've got okay another cool little thing is comparators now a comparator 
you can change the um, mode on it on the front here. And if we do it this way, it doesn't do anything. If we do it this way, it doesn't do anything. If we face it into this block, we can get a little button. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, let's see what else we got. Alright, another cool one is a furnace. So if we go into the furnace here, again if we click, we get a signal come through. And obviously if we put items in, and if it also finishes cooking, we'll also get another update as well. Like that. So that's pretty cool as well. Another really awesome one which is really helpful is a brewing stand. So if we put the brewing stand down, now it's going to update every time we put a water bottle in. And the nether wart. And if we let that go, it's going to work much the same as the furnace does. And so it goes through the process. and just about to finish and as we see here it just updated because we got the orchid potion so another cool use for that alright so last couple of things uh, interesting one is ender chests uh, don't do anything at all uh, in any of the positions so even if they're up here do nothing that was kind of expected but that's what happens uh, cauldrons, of course, will work, and if we take out water, it updates as well, like that. And, of course, you've always got your jukeboxes, which do work with comparators anyway, but it's still cool that they will work this machine as well. So, as you can see, it's running and off again, so that's it. Alright, just an example of some of these guys in use, and if we go along here... Sets off the fireworks, plays a little tune, and of course you could hook this up to a door, or a combination lock, or something awesome like that. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, make sure to leave a comment and a like, and hopefully uh, this helps you out, and if you haven't seen this before, Maybe you can use it for some creations that are coming up. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.